want to get through. Again, we wanted to start with the breaking news and what we know, but let's talk about the possibilities. And we want to start here at the front of the plane. What's something going on in the cockpit between the pilot and the co-pilot? Did a passenger make their way up from the back of the plane to the front of the plane into the cockpit, or were they able to somehow finagle a key mechanical system on the plane? Was there a problem with one of the engines? If there was, there should have been some communication. Rolls-Royce would have known by now. Oh, or was there a catastrophic failure or explosion on board this plane? Specifically, let's talk about in the back, in the cargo hold, where we have those lithium batteries that we have heard so much about that helps to power this plane. Or something inside a passenger's luggage. Did this plane crash into the ocean? Or intact, intact somewhere, did this plane was it somehow maneuvered and it landed in enemy territory. We're going to explore all those possibilities tonight. And with that said, we want to get now to the theories of what happened to Flight 370. This is your Saturday Night Mystery, as well as the world's Saturday Night Mystery. We're going to try to unravel it string by string, piece by piece, and try to figure out exactly what happened. Arthur Rosenberg is an aviation engineer.